guys, today we're going to be practicing creating values with our colored pencils and having a little fun with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my pencil and write my name on the back of my paper and flip it over. Then I'm going to start by creating two rows of four kind of rectangular or square shapes. We're going to turn these into some fun flower pots. So I'm trying to space them out the best I can, and that's okay. I'm starting with my pencil so I can erase whatever I need to. So two rows of four pots. I'm gonna do one at the bottom and then one about at about the halfway spot, which helps give enough room in between the rows so that I can draw some flowers coming out of the pots. Once I've drawn my flower pots where I want them on my paper with my pencil, I'm gonna go over them with my Sharpie, nice and neatly because I can't erase my Sharpie. I'm gonna go over my lines neatly and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some fun little patterns inside my pots with the Sharpie. What we'll do in the next step is we will add value to our pots and give them some color. But first we're just gonna have some fun creating the pots. Now that I've got my flower pots all drawn out and gone over with Sharpie, I'm gonna pick a couple colors for my rows. I'm gonna pick two colors, one for each row. I'm gonna start with a green row on the bottom and on the far left side, I'm gonna start with my lightest color flower pot with my green. So it's gonna be a really, really, really light green. That means I'm barely pressing on the paper when I draw. On the far right pot, I'm gonna press as hard as I can with my colored pencil and create the darkest green I can with that colored pencil. In the middle, we'll go ahead and put different amounts of pressure on it to create some medium colors. So I've got my lightest color and my darkest colors on the outside, and on the inside, I'm gonna do some medium colors. So I'm pressing a little bit harder than the first pot I drew, and now this last flower pot I want to do right in between kind of that lighter medium and the darkest dark I can get. These medium colors are the more of the normal colors you would draw with when you were drawing with colored pencils. Kind of that medium color. So as you can see I go from lightest to darkest. On the second row I'm going to do the same thing with my blue colored pencil, excuse me, my purple colored pencil except I'm gonna do it backwards. So I'm gonna do my lightest flower pot on the opposite side. So they just end up going opposite directions from light to dark.
Now that we've got our flower pots that demonstrate our values with some fun designs on them, we can grab, go back to using our pencil and start drawing in some different fun plants. You can look up some different ideas for different like little plant doodles you can add or come up with your own flowers you would like to draw on there. I'm having fun and they're not necessarily realistic flowers, but they're just gonna be fun little doodles that I can go in and create coming out of my different flower pots. I'm gonna draw them out with pencil and then we'll go over them with Sharpie and add maybe a little more detail with the Sharpie as well. Some of them might be colored in and some of them might just be outline.
after you finish going over your pencil lines with your Sharpie, you can choose to erase the pencil lines you have on your drawing, or you can just leave it as is. And you have a fun kind of springtime plant drawing that shows how you create values and is a little fun. Can't wait to see what you guys do. Have fun.